Slabity 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 Hands, this is the Sim Pet. I'm Devin Booth, and we're back once again with a rally guide. This time we're at Okayaba in the Mazders. It is Monday night when we're getting this ready. So first uh, time on the track here is tonight, along with everybody else. We've taken some time to get used to it, figure out what our line is, and get a little bit comfortable. Now it is time to get you guys comfortable. Make sure you all know what's going on. So we're coming out of pits. We're going to be easy on it here. Try to warm up the tires. But not wear them, you know. Taking it actually serious. Very nice. Do some uh, brake dragging as well here. Again, as always, you can see the inputs on the left-hand side. Green is gas, red is brake, and the wheel there up by the track. And we moved the cameras around a little bit too, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing for shifters and stuff like that. Back straight here, brake and swervings. Excuse me. down through the corner start driving it more like a racing car now we've kind of warmed up the tires with brakes as much as we can we start to kind of push towards the limit now let the car naturally do the rest for the most part first lap is not going to be our fastest but that's not what we're looking for, right? What we're going to do is try to keep ourselves calm, make sure we follow the line as cleanly as possible. It all starts with a good exit. Patience in, spot your exit, get on, Green. ride out using the track, stay in left. Watching for the bridge here, as soon as we come under it, we're going to get on the brake. You can push it to around the blue pylon once tires get warm, but be careful. Bound into third gear. Lots of apex here. Roll on through, patience, spot your exit, gas out. You can touch the curbing on the left side. In with a little bit of brake, lots of apex. That's a little too tight. Get the off track there, it's alright. We'll come back at it. I've been using third gear since the tire update used to use fourth if the track was cold so I'm not sure if we can still push up to that fourth there or not but third gear for this one easy in strong out you have a lot of track out you want to you know use as much as you need not more get yourself pointing straight down here be ready to come in onto the left side where the kink is in the straight there sometimes I'll touch fifth gear sometimes I won't here we are down into Second, as we turn in heavily, you can see the cur course hills a little bit there. On the gas as early as we can to get up into third early, braking at the outside to make sure we hit that apex. It's very important so you can maintain good speed. Small amount of brake here. Gas out, use all the track. Make sure you're using the track out. If you're not, you are going to be losing time. Second on the hard turn in. Lots of apex. And then back in again. So again, I'm not like super, super fast or anything. You know, I'm not going to get you alien times, but at least give you a foundation to build upon here. So we're going to break early. Come across here. I'm going to let you watch as I go through a lap. We're going to push real hard here. See if we get a good quality in this race that we're going to do. Figured we were going to do that for this one. We'll see if we can learn something. Down into third. Again, back tight. This time we're using all of the track. Come back. A little bit too wide there, but I'm just lifting in since I hit the grass. Stay on the gas, keep on it. Not too bad. Hard through here. Down into third, turn in early, make sure we catch that so we can get on the gas early. Watch the tire spin and the tire scrub. Scrub being front tire spin, I'm talking about the rear. 
that corner you can push wide with understeer or you can end up oversteer and it really just depends on how hard that turn is and where the weight on the car is as you come in. So you want to watch, feel what's going to happen, respond accordingly. This corner is going to try to oversteer as a rule on the exit, then again understeering in, so use a little bit of brake. If we hit this right nice and wide, should be minimal braking in and lots of gas out. Feeling not too bad about that exit. Now in second gear here for this as we turn in again, hard on the gas and through and out. Braking in, get the apex on the exit. Strong exit. A little bit of tire spin, but that's okay. I use fourth gear around the apex, lets me keep my foot down. In slow, fast out. Could have caught more apex there, but I'll take it. So not too bad. Uh, I know I can run 49s, that's a 50.1. That'll put us in fourth place. And it looks like we're in top split. There's a guy with 4.6k ahead of me and 3.k. And he's a little bit quicker. We know we can do 49s once the tires warm up, so we'll see how we stack up in the long run, but this puts us ahead of all the 150s, which is kind of a dangerous place to be. Could be an interesting start. All right, we're ready to race. We're back. The quality is finished. We have in first place Sion Kyode Koide. I don't know if I said that right. With a 148, 834. Second place is Julian Fricado with a 149, 539. Just behind him is Jaden Thurlow with a 149, 561. That's third place. I'm in fourth with a 150, 185. And rounding up the top five is Joa Romanoff with a 150, 400. Jason LaBarbera, Yudai Suzuki, Richard M. Scott, Jeremy Marlowe, and Brian LaBarbera. Or La Barbara, again, I'm terrible with names, my apologies, are rounding out your top 10, 12 guys on the field. Let's see how we can do. This is the rookie guide. I decided this time we are going to do an actual race. You guys can let me know which format you like better, if we should just go over the track like we did at the beginning and then do a race, or if we should just uh, just do the going of the over the track. But I felt like we would do a race. You guys can actually see what I'm going to be doing in race conditions and where to watch for potential danger zones and stuff like that. So let's see what happens. Give her a go. You know my slogan. Don't sit on your nuts, bros. Make sure you're comfortable. Ready to go, first and foremost. Water if you need it, all that good stuff. If you have the opportunity, get your black box set up. I don't need to in these because we're not pitting. Uh, for this, I'm revving up to 4,500 when the red light drops. Green flag. Ease off the ga uh, clutch. I pop off the clutch, ease on the gas. And we're doing just fine. Brake third well, gear, five. stay in tight. Clear. Tires are going to be cold. So we don't need to try anything pushy here. Stay behind Julian for now. Oh. We have a run, but I'm not going to take it. To make it clear that I'm staying left. I don't want to slow us down. If we can run away from the guys behind, first of all, then away we go. If we can't, we can't. Yeah, this one I'm going to have the pass on. He's gone wide. You're clear. Left side. I had to pull in a little bit there. I thought Still he wiggled. I don't know there. if he actually did or not, but it's okay. We got it. It's fine. Still there. We'll just hold here. Still there. And on the brakes. Still there. Clear, clear, good job. Push hard now. I didn't think we were going to get him. He had a little bit of a whoopsie going wide. And probably watching his mirror, I'd imagine. them cold tires. Want to keep it as clean as possible. Fourth gear. A little early and lighter on the brakes to ensure that we have a good run in and out through the last corner because that's very important. I do not want the pack behind to catch up. Julie and I can fight. That's fine. Rather not have Joe up in here. 
Again, after the bridge, like we talked about in our quick guide to the beginning during the quali. Catch that apex, ride it out wide. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Keep that speed up. Again, shaking up my line a little bit, hoping to get him to break a draft a bit. Trying to get a good run still. Comes on the outside again. Right side. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear, clear. Good run, good run. His tires are getting hotter. It's harder to hold the inside. We nudged a bit, but Rubin's racing. Nice little zero X. Nobody's crashing each other. It's just close. Go two more. One minute fifty one point one five four. Come on. Come on. Tried to push that one and it's gonna hurt him in the long run, hopefully. Right side. Still there. Clear? Right side. Still there. Clear. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I practiced all that drifting, eh, boys? I think that's what's keeping us alive right now. <laughs> My goodness. Ugh. Come on. One more lap here. This is it. Like this time. Right, last lap. One Oh man, I got bumped. That's some big sad right there. On the left side. I tried to Still hold there. it. I almost had Still it. Till I fucking didn't. Left side. Still there. Still there. Still there. 
Still there. Still there. Clear, clear. That sucks. That was a good fight. I don't like losing it like that. In front of you, in front of you. Hey, 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 hey! Alright, man, that's it. Guys, don't break on the racing line. Get past the first few corners. Good job, everybody. It's just, that's a shout out for you guys. You guys should, you guys should know that. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, man. <laughs> Alright. So that was a good race in the end. That did make me too happy. I don't like that in the end. But, oh well. It happened how it happened. Uh, big ol' slappity hands. Thank you, bros, for watching. Drop a like, sub, all that good stuff. Support the sim pit. And hopefully, that gives you an idea on what to expect. For the most part, that was really good racing. I'm sure it was an accidental bump, but it makes me sad. It was a, it was a hard, hard battle. A good fun. Alright, brothers. That's that.